Before you buy the Losi LMT, watch this video to help you decide whether or not this is the truck for you as we review the best looking RC on the planet. Losi LMT Son of a Digger Monster Truck Review coming up. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe. And I'm Amber. We're the now RC see Kiwis. Kiwis. On this channel, we do everything from bashing, crawling, speed runs, unbox reviews, and much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss out on any of our future RC adventures. And in today's adventure, we're going to be unboxing the best, the best looking RC and take it out for its first run and then give you guys an initial thoughts at the end of this video. But let's not waste any time, Amber. Let's get inside the box. In the box comes the instruction manual, which you should read, a battery strap, some spare parts and accessories, four AA batteries, the remote controller, and of course, your brand new monster truck. When I first saw this truck come out, I was like, eh, sorry, I didn't like a cup of tea. I'm liking the Traxxas Max, the Cradens, and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? We thought, let's order one for the channel. We don't have anything with this style. And when it arrived, and I got it out of the box, because yeah, we did get it out of the box before what you just saw, I have to say, this blew me away how good it looks. This is the best looking RC that we own. In fact, it may even be the best looking RC on the planet. Let us know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? So this is the Losi LMT 110 scale solid axle four wheel drive monster truck. It is 3S capable and it comes in a ready to run version and also a kit version. We'll put links in the description for both down below. Before we take this out for its first run, first we'll give it a quick overview starting with the body. This comes in two liveries, a green grave digger and then the blue son of a digger. It is a really nicely detailed body guys. This is seriously the best looking RC on the market in our opinion today. It has working front headlights and the way the body's attached is with four body clips. There's two body clips at the front and one either side on the side of the truck and then this will allow the body to come back just like the Losi Tenacity DB Pro. So let's get under the hood and see what it comes with. Guys, I'm so excited about this truck. It is our first scale monster truck on the channel and we both love it. It has a cage on the inside of the body, which it's really gonna need when we send it off that black ramp. Yeah, you know, you know we're gonna be taking it for those four <laughs> levels of durability test. And if you don't know what we're talking about, go watch our X Max or Craden 6S or EXP your durability test which we filmed <laughs> recently. That was a bunch of fun. So this beast is kitted up with the smart technology. Yeah, it's not as gonna be as smart as a Tesla, but it's gonna be smarter than a potato. It's got a 31, it's got a 3150 kV spectrum motor. And accompanying that is the 130 amp Firma ESC, which is waterproof and fan cool. Now this should give the truck plenty of power and speed to, to do all those wicked stunts, because I've seen a lot of guys doing all kinds of stunts with this truck, scales type of stunts, and that's what we're gonna be trying to attempt when we go out and take this out for its first run. Now the connector it comes with is what you expect with a lot of the stuff coming from Horizon Low Sea Armor, and that is the IC5 connectors and that will allow you to plug your smart battery straight into it and we're going to be running this on our smart batteries because, you know, we're smart, we're smart. <laughs> and we, but we have been having some issues with our smart batteries and we'll talk about that later on in the video. Now looking at the chassis, it's made of metal and it has three plates either side, front, centre and rear which attaches to a nice wheelie bar. Which I'm sure is going to get a lot of use today on its first run. Looking at the drivetrain, it's all metal geared with front, rear and centre differentials with 100k fluid in the front, 100k fluid in the rear, and 500k in the center. The plastics on this truck are really beefy. It should hold up to a lot of abuse, although I have seen online that quite a few guys have been cracking their massive, big, blocky uh, solid axles. But look, we're gonna have to see for ourselves when we take for us four levels of durability when we take that out to MS Club. You don't wanna miss that video, so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Now looking at the shocks, they're aluminium, and they are filled with 25 weight in the front and in the rear. 
They are also very adjustable. The servo that comes with this truck is Spectrum. It is a 23 tooth spline. Metal gear should provide plenty of torque for these big chunky tyres. It's got a nice servo save on the front there. What else does this truck have? It's got front and rear sway bars to help improve handling. It's got a battery strap on top to fit all your types of batteries. And there's a lot more on this truck. So if you want to know more information on it, we will leave links to this truck and the kit version in the description down below. But look, I'm just, I'm just way too excited. I just cannot wait to get the batteries in this truck and take it out for its first run. So Amber, let's head downstairs grab a taxi and head to our new location. Here we are on location. It's a new spot. It's in Singye for anyone that's local in Hong Kong. Ignore the rubbish, right? Ignore it. It's no one litters. It's just when typhoons come through, of course it does make a mess. There it is, the Losi LMT. I'm so excited to get this thing on. I just, I can't wait. Amber, I can't wait. And I'm going first. We already agreed. I'm going first, so. Remote on first. Plug the battery in. Turn the car on. Ooh, there we go. That is seriously the best looking car. I don't care what you say in the comments. I don't care what you say. This is our opinion. Right, here we go. Look, oh man, I am excited. Let's have a look. Steering. Get some nice shots of it before. Look at that big, beefy steering link. That's plastic, but inside there's metal as well. So it should be fairly sturdy. Look at that. <laughs> That's right, man. We've got the mitts. That's the Kiwis. I know this top's a little bit tight, I know, I know. It's a way for a comfy, a comfy fit. So let's show on the remote really quickly. This is the DX3, this is from Spectrum. It's fairly new to Spectrum. And the cool thing about this remote is that it gets the telemetry data sent from the car to the remote, and you can see the smart battery level. So you can see the battery level on the remote, so long as you're running a smart battery like we are today. Uh, other things, it's got AVC, so that's sort of like your TSM and Traxxas, like stability control, helps the car go straight. You got brake rate, the amount of brake you're going to be giving it when you go to brake. You, at the moment we've got to set to a max, we'll see how that goes. You got your steering trim, throttle trim, all the normal stuff. Throttle reverse, steering reverse, and then you got the thrust limit, so let's start on 100. Let's not muck around. Let's not muck around here. See, the first run's <laughs> different with Joe, because he goes straight in. I'm straight in. Yeah, you know it. Uh, let's go, let's go. Oh man, I can't wait to hit that ramp. We're going to be hitting that ramp very soon. First we want to get a feel for it. Look at it. Look at how it drives! <laughs> it does. Like, one day we have to go to a real life monster truck show, that's for sure. <laughs> it's so funny looking, hey, like a monster truck. Here we go. Oh, oh. That's not full throttle, don't worry. I'm just trying to still get a feel for it. We've got the ABC out to 100% now, so we're gonna, we're gonna find out. This is quite bumpy terrain there. I'll try and do a bit of a wheelie. Ready, ready? <laughs> Guys, this thing's got speed. Let us know in the comments below, what do you want to see us put this up against for a drag race? I'm, I'm thinking the tracks is max. But look, uh, that's, that's enough of this. Let's hit some jumps, man. That's what I'm here for. Ooh, I want to hit a jump. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine the black ramp? Can you imagine it? Let's go again, come on. Woo! Ooh. Some height there. Come on, I can do better. Come on, Joe. You can do better than that. We're going to have to try some actual stunts. I've seen some of the pros on YouTube doing some stunts. at C, C, I, C guy. He puts this through. He shows some real stunts with this truck. He's got some skill. That we, we lack. We lack the skill. You know what they say, man? Practice makes perfect. And uh, hopefully in time we'll get better at do some cool stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> what was that? That was my purpose, I promise. It's <laughs> gonna be a good one. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Let me just get this ramp. Oh, no. What was that? That was disgusting. Despicable. These kids are watching thinking, what's going on, John? I watched your videos. You look so good at hitting ramps. What's happening? What's happening? I'm watching you live right now and you're like a different person. <laughs> I'm so sorry, okay? We do a lot of cuts. Whoa, there we go. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, the smart batteries. So we've actually got seven Spectrum smart batteries. That's right, seven of them. A mixture of 3S and 4S and some 4S 50C and some 4S 100C discharge, right? Well, out of our seven, we've actually got three that are now faulty. Can you believe it? Three Spectrum smart batteries have gone faulty and these batteries aren't cheap. They're like 100 US a battery. So um, with our 4S 100C battery, one of the cells is completely gone and the battery's gone puffy, so we need to uh, dispose of it. One of the three cell 50C batteries, one of the cells is gone, so it's, it shows up as only a two cell LiPo battery when we plug it into the charger. So one of the cells is dead on that. 
and then uh, the 4-cell LiPo 50C, it seems to work fine, but when I use it with a smart uh, C, like the Outcast, and I use two of them in the Outcast, um, it won't actually let, ooh, ooh, that one's good, ooh. It doesn't let the car run, because the uh, smart system's telling, is saying that one of the batteries is faulty. We're waiting to hear back from Spectrum. Hopefully they are uh, able to send us some, uh, you know, replacements, because man, they're expensive, and we only had, we've only had them for a few months, you know? I mean, you guys saw it on the video when we brought them. And before you comment, yes, of course, come on, we're not silly. We do put them into storage immediately. We only ever charge our batteries the morning that we're gonna use them. And then, as soon as we get home, the first thing we do, oh yeah, is uh, get a big glass of Coke Zero, sit on the couch, and then of course I do put the batteries all back to storage charge, using the smart charger as well. Oh, that was a bit off there. <laughs> oh, that thing's so cool. And you're gonna love really this car. Cool. It's actually pretty good at handling too. I thought it would be way top heavy and just want to flip over all the time. Whoa, I could just do this all day, Amber. I could do this all day. When my battery dies, it's your turn, okay? Oh, let me see that remote. Let me see that oh, remote. No, what? <laughs> One flashing light. See, the, the thing with these big wheels, a lot of mass in them, so you do have some controllability. So I think a backflip would be no issue, no problem at all. Oh. <laughs> I don't have the juice right now. Out of 10, so far, how many stars would you give the LMT? I give it a hundred stars. How are you feeling? Are you torn between this and the Creighton well, now? Well, the thing think? is, the Creighton's got the the power and everything, but this thing's just got the look, you know. It's got I mean, the that's look, half yeah. that's half of it, right? The RC yeah. has to look cool. Oh, but you know what I forgot to do? What? I forgot to plug in the lights. Oh. I just realised. Uh, look, there's this cable been <laughs> flapping around. <laughs> and it's meant to be plugged in. Fresh battery in, it's all on, and this time we're not gonna forget to plug the lights in. Free lights. The thing about these body clips is they're very thin and they're easy to put in the hole. The hole's a little bit bigger than the, the clip. Yeah? <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey! I don't know what you mean. What are you talking about? Battery is fully charged. Amber, it's your turn. Alright, Amber is now in the controls of this beast of an RC. Look at it. It is just stunning to look. I can just look at it. I don't even need to drive it. Hey, go for it, Amber. <laughs> oh! Ready? I'm gonna go for a wheelie. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the body! The no. body! <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Go for it. Oh, 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 nice. Another one. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh almost no. a flip. What do you think, Joe? Do you think I should try and get a backflip? Go for it. You're feeling confident, but you got to pull through. You can't chicken out. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Good luck. Good job. Hey. Good job. Hey, I'm gonna go for another one. Whoa. Oh. Yes! <laughs> oh, nice! Perfect! I'm getting quite good at this. I didn't even get one. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Oh. The caging on the inside, That's right? That's true, that caging would have helped. That's okay, we're good. <laughs> you need to stand closer. Let me teach you something for a change. <laughs> I knew it! Oh, <laughs> 
you can jump it. <laughs> That's how to do the jump. You're gonna be better than us. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Go. Say hello. Say hello to the hello to YouTube. <laughs> You're seven oh, years I old. Really? And you are such a good RC driver. Nice. Man, look at this awesome view here. So we've got Hong Kong Island over the other side. You see those big skyscrapers? That's Hong Kong Island. And then you've got Kowloon side, which is over this side over here. And then we're on Singye. There's a bridge crossing over. It looks like that's going to... It's either going to... I think it's going to Kowloon side over there. All these shipping containers bringing in a whole bunch of new RCs. Of course, you know it. But anyway, look guys, we had so much fun out here today with the low C LMT. It's starting to get late. It's time to go home. And then we're going to give you guys our initial thoughts on this beast of a truck. So we're back home and that was an absolutely epic day. So much fun. But I've got to be honest, those kids were so much better at <laughs> jumping than you were today. Yeah, they were. <laughs> but what are your first initial thoughts and impressions on this truck? Well, first I'll start off by saying yes, those kids were really good at doing the jumps and Amber, you were dominating those backflips. <laughs> so if you haven't yet, make sure you give Amber and those kids a big thumbs up. But my initial thoughts on this truck is, well, just one word comes to mind. One word in particular that is, and that is the word fun. This car is so much fun. It not only is the best looking car, but it might be the car that gives us the greatest amount of fun. We're still gonna do a lot more driving with this. There's a lot more videos coming on this. We're gonna be taking it out for some drag racing very soon. We're gonna take it out to the racetrack. And of course, you guys already know, we're gonna be taking it through the four levels of durability, including that big black ramp and you don't want to miss that video so if you haven't yet make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button and just a wee bit of a damage report the only thing on the car is the front of the body <laughs> and the light fell out as well also some slight scratching up here yeah, but come one bit on. of scratching if you're not scratching your body you're not using your RC properly then come on exactly but no it's still in awesome condition and I'm looking forward to fixing this because it is such a good looking car and I don't want it to look like this for much longer. No. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and if you didn't, give it a like anyway. Make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures. And hey, remember guys, 1st of March <laughs> is when we're launching our website www.thercqiwis.com where we're going to be lo launching loads of different merch including this t-shirt. We've got some samples that we're trying out today and there's a lot more coming. <laughs> you don't want to miss that, make sure you put it in your calendar the 1st of March. But look guys, like Amber said, make sure you're staying <laughs> safe out there on your RC adventures, where they are, see Kiwis, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.